Change is hard. When we got Boomer, he was such a cute little puppy. And then in the blink of an eye, he became this big dog. But it's okay because we realized he's always going to be a just a baby. But you still had to say, okay, mom. I did you, baby. Change was tough when I said goodbye to my family and packed up and got a one-way ticket to move to the US, not knowing anyone here. Change has also been tough when we left our home in LA and all our friends, the amazing food, and moved to a new city where we know no one. But you know the great thing about change? It means it's time for an adventure and growth. Come on a local hike with us while I share some tips on what has helped me go through big life changes. But first, coffee. Feeling super lazy, I just make iced coffee. I grew up so scared of change and I was holding on to things that made me feel like I was in control. When I was a kid, I remember my parents had to do two trips to drop my sister and me off at school because I refused to leave a second later because it was just something that I was used to and I felt like I would be late and my whole day would be ruined. But now it's become a part of my life. You know, the only real constant in life is change. Also, if you haven't tried cereal in your coffee, before you come for me, give it a try. I usually like to put it in cold coffee just because it doesn't get soggy, but it's so good and you have fewer dishes. I'm curious, how many of you have left everything you know behind and moved somewhere new and started off fresh again? Billy rubs. A huge thing that's helped to a change is to control the things you can and let go of the things you can't. So we drove up here in two cars and we shipped most of our stuff. But the movers are so delayed that we don't have any of our things. And instead of stressing out, we are trying to take control of what we can. We finally live in a house with a garage for the first time in our lives. Broad space! So you can imagine what we ended up doing. That's right, a Costco run. What is a Costco membership? <laughs> this is how it starts. Oh yes, we need this cute 20 pack of glass uh, meal prep kits. <laughs> okay, laundry baskets start off like this, and then you put jeans in it, and then it starts to look like this. It's got to play Tetris. Please don't judge me for the way our closet looks right now. I don't have any hangers and I don't have most of my clothes. So I am very excited to reorganize everything and show you what it looks like. But now let's get ready for the hike. Ta-da! While going through a big life change, it's really important to practice some self-care and take care of your health. Never forget your sunscreen. This is my current favorite by Supergoop. Everything I'm bringing in my backpack is some snacks for Boomer and me, my phone, sunscreen, poop bags. We don't currently have a water bottle, so we're going to make do with this food bowl and some water. And of course, a hat for Boomer. <laughs> You're ready for the hike! Is hiding from the sun. Move your body. Personally, I always feel good when I get some kind of movement in and it's a great way for a dog to transition to moving to a new place. I've been going to the gym, but I also have been going on lots of walks with Boomer. This always helps me to get out of what's happening in my head during this huge life change. And I feel good knowing that I'm taking care of myself. Out in nature and sniff some flowers. The nature helps Boomer and it helps me. Rely on your support system. I am really close with my mom, but I also have an incredible therapist. Growing up in India, therapy has a huge stigma. In the beginning, I was a little bit nervous, but I can't 
tell you how much getting a good therapist has changed my life. It's okay to not be okay. When you're going through these big life changes, there's going to be a lot of feelings and emotions that come up and it's really important to have a support system that you can rely on that will help you go through these. I know it can be incredibly challenging to ask for help, but your loved ones will want to help you. I want us to try something together. Okay, ready? Close your eyes and take a deep breath in and let it all out. Do you feel a little better? I have found that my breath can be such a powerful tool to help through tough situations. So learning to better control that and practicing mindfulness can help deal with big life changes a lot better. Okay, thanks for joining us so far. We're going to finish up this hike and we'll see you back at home for some lunch. Shoot me selfie! We're back home after our hike and now that I've changed and showered, I feel a little more like a human. While going through change, it's important to eat healthy. Let me explain. When you're going through change, stress in your life can show up as having sleep issues, having digestive issues, and just overall mood not being great. So eating a well-balanced diet that is full of nourishing food can really help you. Yummy salmon. I wish we had the tea. Lunch is ready. Okay, I'm gonna take the first bite with all of you. I'm gonna get a good bit of everything. Sleep, rest, and recovery are so important when it comes to taking care of yourself. I shared in my recent newsletter tips on how to get over sleep issues if you have any, so please check it out in the description box. Lastly, I want to add, deal with change at your own pace. The way Dan and I operate in these situations are very different. For example, while packing, I'm someone who packs, takes a break, and then packs again. I need lots of breaks between every packing or cleanup session. That's just how I always operate. And Dan can do everything in one go. So it's been really helpful for both of us to communicate on our styles of dealing with issues and going at our own pace. And that really helps both my anxiety and his as well. This is actually particularly useful when you're dealing with a big life change like grief. Everyone deals with grief on their own timeline in their own way so don't let someone else tell you how or at what speed you should be getting over things. Be patient with yourself because dealing with change takes time and give yourself the grace and kindness that you would give your best friend. If you're going through a big life change, Boomer and I are here for you and we're rooting for you. You got this. We'll see you in the next one.